Hare 
भक्ति विधान स्वामी श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय स्कान संस्था के आचार्य श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिव्राज के आचार्य अष्ट श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत श्री ठाकुर महाराज शिल प्रभुपाद की जय अनंत गढ़ी वैष्णव वृंद की जय नमाचार्य श्रील हरिदास ठाकुर की प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सादि गौर भक्त वृंद की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोगपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरीवर्धन की जय श्री वृंदावन मथुरा धाम की जय श्री माया पुण्यवति धाम की जय श्री जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की जय गंगा देवी जमुना देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय श्री मतुलसी महारानी की जय श्री हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जय श्री प्रभुपाद डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन की 
जय श्री श्री गर्णिताय की जय श्री श्री कृष्ण बलराम की जय श्री श्री राधा श्याम सुंदर तेवी देवी की जय श्री श्री जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्र महारायण की जय समेत भक्त वृंद की हिताय गौर प्रमानंदे All glories to assembled devotees. All glories to assembled devotees. All glories to assembled devotees. All glories to Alish Guru and Gauranga Jai Shri Prabhupada. <coughs> Om Namo Bhagavate. वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नष्ट प्रायु अभद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्ठिके मूलकृतिचालुंगुलंगयते गिरी यत्तम वंदे श्रीगुरु दीनतारण श्रीपरमानंदमाधव So today we are reading from Bhagavad Gita as it is chapter 2 text 64 <coughs> contents of the gita summarize raga dvesha vimuktaistu raga dvesha vimuktaistu bishaya nindriyaischaram bishaya nindriyaischaram आत्मशर्विधेयात्मादिगछति रागदेशमुक्तस्तु विषयानींद्रियश्चर आत्मशर्विधेयात्मा प्रसाद अधिगछति रागदेश विमुक्त विषयानींद्रियश्चर आत्मशर्विधेयात्मा प्रसाद अधिगछति रागदेशमुक्तस्तु विषयानींद्रियश्चर आत्मशर्विधेयात्मा 
Attachment, dvesa, and, and detachment, vimuktai, by one who has become free from, tu, but, vishayan, sense objects, indriyai, by the senses, charan, Acting upon Atma Vasya under one's control Vidhi Atma one who follows regulated freedom Prasadam the mercy of the Lord Adhigachati attains Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. Translation. <clears throat> but a person free from all attachment and aversion and able to control his senses through regulative principles of freedom can obtain the complete mercy of the Lord. Purport. It is already explained that one may externally control the senses by some artificial process. But unless the senses are engaged in the transcendental service of the Lord, there is every chance of a fall. Although the person in full Christian consciousness may apparently be on the sensual plane. Because of his being Krishna conscious, he has no attachment to sensual activities. The Krishna conscious person is concerned only with the satisfaction of Krishna and nothing else. Therefore, he is transcendental to all attachment and detachment. If Krishna wants, the devotee can do anything which is ordinarily undesirable. And if Krishna does not want, he shall not do that which he would have ordinarily done for his own satisfaction. Therefore, to act or not to act is within his control because he acts only under the direction of Krishna. This consciousness is the causeless mercy of the Lord, which the devotee can achieve in spite of his being attached to the sensual platform. Hmm. Om Jnana Timirandhasya Jnana Salakaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Sri Angrupa Kadamayam Dadati Sopadantika Bandeyam Sri Guru Sri Utapadakamalam Sri Gurun Vaishnavangsa Sri Rupam Shagrajatam Shaganaragunatha Nitantang Sajivan 
साइतं सवधूत परीजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदीव श्रीराधाकृष्ण पाद शहगणलिता श्री विशाखात हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पथे गोपेश गोपिका कंत राधा कंत नमस्त तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषवान सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंशाकल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु पतेता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम नमो महावदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गौरति से नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे राग देश विमुक्त स्तु विषयान इंद्रिय चरण आत्मवश्य विधे आत्मा प्रसाद अधिगछति सो हियर इन दिस भर्स भगवत गीता लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज एक्सप्लेनिंग द सिचुएशन अफ है स्थित प्रज्ञा लॉर्ड कृष्ण हैज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ स्थित प्रज्ञा इन सो मेनी वर्सेस प्रीवियसली सो होल आइडिया इज दैट हाउ ए स्थित प्रज्ञा मीन्स हु इज फिक्स्ड इन consciousness how he is not affected by pleasure and pain by attachment and detachment how he is steady in all these circumstances like previously lord krishna has already explained uh, what is that was अनदर वन एज एक्सप्लेन दट वन इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय pleasure or painful situations so that means one is in steadiness or in steady intelligence that he is not affected by the external situations because he is situated in krishna consciousness that is the main factor that when one is situated in krishna consciousness then he can control his mind and he will not be affected by pleasure and pain or attachment and detachment 
because he will release the higher taste in Krishna consciousness. Because in material world, generally we want to derive happiness from sense gratification. That is the root cause of all of our sufferings. Because we all want sense gratification in this material world. That's why we also invite difficulties because of that sense gratification. So here we see that uh, the real pleasure one can attain not by enjoying his senses but by controlling his senses. It has been stated that when one wants to enjoy his senses, that means he is pouring ghee in the fire. So the enjoying propensity will increase, it will never be satisfied. That is the nature of this material pleasure. That's why the intelligent person can control his senses by Krishna consciousness. That is the only way. Sometimes the yogis or the transcendentalists, they try to control their senses by artificial means. But by con trying to control the senses by artificial means will not work. Because we have seen in the history that many sages, they used to do tapasya, austerity, for thousands of years. Like uh, the example is given about Vishwamitra. So, and Indra is always afraid of his position. If someone does any austerity, Indra is always afraid of. Because Indra always thinks that, oh, this person is performing austerity to take up my position. <laughs> so generally, Indra, he sends the apsaras, the damsels of heaven, to entice the sages to break their austerity. So, when Vishwamitra was performing austerity, Menaka came, and just by hearing the tinkling of her ankle bells, then his meditation broke. And he fell in love with Menaka. So that means his trying of controlling his senses was artificial. And when the opportunity arrived for sense gratification, his austerity broke. It did not work. That's why Krishna is again and again telling in Bhagavad Gita that param drushta nivartate. One has to attain higher happiness. Then only one can give up this lower happiness of this material world, that is sense gratification. So higher happiness will only come when one is attached to Krishna. When one is attached to Krishna, serves him and develops loving relationship with him, then he will enjoy higher happiness. And by that higher happiness, he will neglect all this lower happiness of this material world. And in that way he can conquer the desire for material sense gratification. So Krishna consciousness is the only answer that one can release in Krishna consciousness eternally, whereas one can enjoy some happiness in uh, sense gratification, but then that will be followed by material pains. This is the nature of the material world. So here in this verse, Raga desa vimukta isu vishayan indriyas charan. That uh, a person 
who is free from all attachment and detachment or hmm? aversion able to control his senses through regulative principles of freedom which one can attain obtain by the complete mercy of the lord so by the mercy of the lord only one will be able to control his senses that means one has to surrender surrender to krishna because the lord krishna says in bhagavad gita that daivi esa guna mai mama maya duratya mang evo yo prapadyante maya me tan taranti de so my external energy is very difficult to overcome but anyone who surrenders unto me he can only overcome my external energy so that means lord krishna's external energy is under his control so anyone who surrenders at the lotus feet of krishna can get rid of the external influence of the external energy of krishna so here same thing that a person who has control his senses and who is steady in krishna consciousness so he has no attachment or detachment that means he is not affected by material attachments or by material detachments also he is he maintains equilibrium in both the cases and how does he do by his krishna consciousness his only desire in life is to satisfy krishna he does not want to satisfy himself and when one desires to satisfy krishna then if krishna is satisfied in something he will not averse to that he will do that like in the bhagavad gita we say see in the beginning of bhagavad gita that arjuna he was attached to so many religious principles so when the fighting was about to start arjuna remembered all those religious principles and he declined to fly fight but when krishna explained bhagavad gita to arjuna then he became convinced and then he was ready to fight though he did not want to do that but krishna wanted to do that that's why he was ready to fight so in the same way a devotee may be attached to something or a devotee may not be attached to something or he may be detached from something but if krishna wants that he should do that thing which is detached from then the devotee will do that and if devotee is attached to something and krishna does not want him to do that then the devotee will give up that attachment he will not do that if krishna is not satisfied with that so that means the basic principle it's krishna consciousness this attachment and detachment they are material and when one is in krishna consciousness then only whatever krishna's desire how krishna will be satisfied he will do that he doesn't care for this material attachment and detachment so that is the basic principle so here that's a uh, lord krishna says that uh, the person who is in this way controls his senses and uh, 
acts according to Krishna's desire, then only he attains the mercy of Krishna. Prasadam adhigachati. He attains the mercy of Krishna by uh, trying to serve Krishna to satisfy Krishna. That is the basic principle. So, uh, we see uh, that many devotees, like in Chaitanya Lila, there are many devotees who are all grihasthas. Like Sivananda Sen, he is very famous and he was uh, the leader of the devotees. When the devotees every year, they used to come to Jagannath Puri to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Sivananda Sen would bring all those devotees and arrange for their stay on the way, arrange for their prasadam, arrange for uh, a boat to cross the river. So all these things he, were, he was doing, taking care of the devotees. And when one time Sivanusan stayed back to give the taxes, on the way, tool taxes. And the devotees went ahead, and Nityananda Prabhu was also with the devotees. And Nityananda Prabhu became very upset because Sivananda said, Hundred Arians is place for his stay or is for his prasadam. So when Sivananda arrived, Immediately, Nityananda Prabhu became very angry on him and kicked him with his feet and also cursed <laughs> Sivananda said to curse his son to die. And Sivananda said was not affected by this, but his wife became very affected. Because generally, mothers are attached to children. So when Nityananda Prabhu cursed for Sivansan's son to die, naturally mother will be affected. And she was crying. <laughs> but Sivananda Sen actually, he was not affected. He thought that Nityananda Prabhu's kicking was his mercy. And he did not care for his son to die. Even if Nityananda Prabhu cursed his son to die, but he did not care for that. He only wanted to satisfy Nityananda Prabhu. So, here we see that the devotees, generally those who are in householder life, naturally they will be attached to family, children, friends, money, all those things. But Sivananda Sen, he was not attached to anything. And how did he maintain this? By his Krishna consciousness, because he was attached to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, that's why all these things did not affect him. Like Nityananda Prabhu's cars, his kicking, all these things did not affect. And he maintained his stability because of his Krishna consciousness. And sometimes also we see like uh, great sages, like Durvasa. <laughs> like the gopis who went to feed Durvasa Muni and get his blessings. You all know the story. And uh, Durvasa Muni was on the other side of Yamuna. And the gopis had prepared so many, so many different kinds of foodstuffs. They fed Durvasa Muni 
and he ate all. But when the gopis came back, they had to cross Jamuna. They asked Durva Samuni, how, how could we cross Jamuna? Then he said, oh, you just tell Jamuna that uh, Durva Samuni has not eaten anything. He's an Ari. <laughs> My gopis were surprised that we brought so much different kinds of foodstuff he ate in front of our eyes. Now he's telling he did not eat anything. <laughs> but anyway, they told this thing to Jamuna and Jamuna gave the way. <laughs> so, it is in the mind. Though Durvasamuni ate everything, but he was not attached for this eating. So, that's why this uh, sages, they, are, they do everything in this material world like, uh, like ordinary persons. We see that the sages, devotees, they do everything like ordinary persons, but they are not attached to their things, what they are doing. Like the devotees, they are eating also. They are wearing clothes, they are doing everything. But it all depends on the mind of the person. Externally we may see someone is doing something, sensual thing. But in the mind, if he is not attached to that, then we can understand that he is a liberated person. And one can attend that situation only when one is purely Krishna conscious. Unless one is purely Krishna conscious, then it is very difficult to become detached. Or sometimes some happiness and distress comes, we become affected. But one is, when one is in Krishna consciousness, he is not affected by that. So, <clears throat> Dukhya svanud vignamana sukhya su vigata spruha vita raga bhaya krodha stita dhi muni rachyate. So uh, anyone who is fixed in consciousness, Krishna consciousness, he is not affected in distress. Or uh, he is not overwhelmed with joy when some happiness comes. In both the situations, he maintains this equilibrium. He is not affected because he is in higher consciousness, in Krishna consciousness. So, we will stop here. We have five minutes. If any questions are there, we have to close the class by 9.50. Sorry, 650. 650. So what is exactly mean by regulative principles of freedom? Freedom. Huh? Regulative principles of freedom. Freedom means you can do whatever you like. That is freedom. <laughs> and when freedom is regulated, that is regulative freedom. Like we, uh, in Christian consciousness, we have certain regulations. Our devotees, they are following those regulations. That is regulated freedom. We all have freedom to act, but we are acting under some regulations. And those who are not following regulations, they can do whatever they like. But we have freedom, but regulated freedom. Because we have to follow certain principles in Krishna consciousness for Krishna's satisfaction. Is it okay? okay. So towards the end of the purport, yeah. What is that? Uh, 
the last line you mean this consciousness sensual platform yeah this consciousness is the causeless mercy of the lord which the devotee can achieve in spite of his being attached to sensual platform like uh, the grihasthas they are somehow or other attached to some sensual platform or even brahmacharis they have like eating habits some someone is attached to on some eating <laughs> habits so to maintain that equilibrium that even if someone likes something to eat like the great devotees they have some favorite items to eat <laughs> but in spite of that they are krishna conscious they are not attached by that if they get is okay but if they don't get they don't lament so in the same way the grihasthas sometimes they are seen externally they are attached to sensual platform but a grihastha may be a great devotee of the lord like shivananda sen uh, so many in chaitanya lila so many devotees are grihasthas and they were in highest platform of krishna consciousness so externally they may seem like that they are uh, engaged in sensual platform but it is the inner consciousness that how they take it if someone is krishna conscious then he may do all these things as a matter of duty but he is not attached to that what prophet said stealing mahaprasad is okay is okay is mahaprasad mahaprasad no offense he <laughs> like to take mahaprasad lord's prasad in our affairs he is telling prasad means when we devotee prasad you are stealing something like that <laughs> you, you mean that no huh? okay <laughs> then that will cause some problem in the management <laughs> so jai shri bhagavad gita ki jai shri prabhupad ji maharaj ki jai nitai gaur pramanande